Link. Today's lesson points, lines, and angles. Firstly, what the meaning of the point? The point is an exact location in a space and usually represented by a dot. This example, point A. What is the line segment? The line segment is a part of a line that includes two points called end points and all of the points between them. This example for the line segment, line segment AB, or we can read it also line segment BA, and the line segment here has two end points, for that we can measure its length. What is ray? The ray is a part of a line with one end point that continues without end in one direction. Example, ray CD, the starting point is point C and its direction to point D. And because the ray has no end, we can't measure its length. What is the line? The line is a straight path in a plane that goes on forever in opposite directions. It has no start or end point. Like example here, this line AB and also we can read it line BA, the same. And because the line has no end points, for that it, it, we can't measure its length also. And we must know the line segment is a part from the line and the ray also is a part from the line. The plane. The plane is a flat surface of points that continues without end in all directions. And we name the plane by at least three points in the place. This example, plane A, B, C. What is the name of this shape? It's ray. And this one, point. And this one, line segment. And this one, line. Is the following is a point, line, or line segment, or a ray. This a, huh? line segment. And this a, ray, ray, n, h. This line, K, R. This one, ray, R, U. And this point, O. This line segment, Q, O. Ray, D, E. After that, the angle. What is the meaning of the angle? An angle has two sides and a vertex. And the two sides are rays. The rays share in a common end point. This point is called vertex. The angles are measured by unit is called degree. For example, this angle x, y, z. And here, point y is the vertex. The ray, y, x, and y, z are the two sides. Types of angles. We have four types of angles. The first is called acute angle. Its measure is more than zero and less than 90. Right angle. Its measure is exactly 90 degrees. Obtuse angle. Its measure is more than 90 and less than 180. And the straight angle. Its measure is 180. And we measure the angles by a tool used uh, called protractor for example if i have this angle it's a name how we can name the angle we can name it angle a b c or angle c b a or we can name it by the name of its vertex only angle b the vertex here is point b this is the starting point of the two rays and its sides are ray BA and ray BC. 
What is the name of this angle? What is the kind of this angle? Let's write. And this one, obtuse angle. And this one, acute angle. Now, line relationship. We have four relationships between the lines. The first is called intersecting lines. They are lines cross each other in one point. Like line CD and line AE, they are make cross at point B. For that, we can tell line CD intersect line AE at point B. The second relationship, parallel lines. The parallel lines are two lines in the same plane and they never intersect. They are never intersect. Like here, line A, E and line D, C, they are never intersect. For that, they are called parallel and this symbol represent the parallel. Perpendicular lines. They are two lines intersect to form right angles. In the intersecting lines, there is no right angles. But in the perpendicular lines, when they are intersect, they form four right angles. Here we have line AE and line DC. They are form four right angles. And this simple represents the perpendicular. Skew lines. They are two lines not in the same plane. Not in the same plane. And they are not parallel and not intersect. Name any relationship you see in each figure and write intersecting parallel or perpendicular. The first represent the intersecting lines and the second perpendicular lines, the third parallel lines and the fourth skew lines. When two lines intersect at one point, they are formed four angles. Each two opposite angles are called vertical angles. And the vertical angles are equal in measure. For example, here we have we have angle A E B and angle D E C. They are uh, opposite each other. For that, they are called vertical angles. And the measure of each one. 135 and also we have angle a e d and the angle b e c they are opposite each other and the measure of each is 45 and they are called vertical angles now use this figure name an example for each point we have a lot of points here choose in one point j point k point r point l i write here point p no problem Line segment. Also, you can choose any line segment. We have a lot. PL, PQ, PM, MN, NO, but we must put the simple of the line segment over it. Line. We have line uh, MQ and also NO and LO. Plane. This is the plane. Name it by any three points on it we can name it p m n m n o n o p vertex vertex of any angle we have a lot of angles also we can use point k as a vertex point p as a vertex point q point o here we choose point p angle we have a lot of angles angle j k r angle l k r angle l P M angle P M N. Okay, here we write angle L P M. Vertical angles. They are two angles opposite each other. Like angle L P M and the angle Q P O, or angle L P Q and the angle M P O. They are called vertical angles. Use the same figure name. Write the uh, kind of each angle. Classify each angle. Angle JKR. Angle JKR is right angle. Angle LPQ. LPQ is acute angle. Angle NOS. 
N O S Acute Angle Angle L O S L O S This obtuse angle Angle Q P M Q P M Straight Angle Angle R K L R K L This obtuse angle Angle S Q M S Q M S Q M It's acute angle And P M N P M N is obtuse angle This is the end of our session Thanks